All right, guys. So we're in another project today. We're Eva Beach. We're gonna be uh, uh, adding a sidewalk with a stamped concrete finish. This is our step that was here. We have to demo it. So all is gonna be brand new uh, sidewalk. And we, um, like I said, it's gonna be everything stamped concrete finish. Um, we're also gonna be doing this section right here. We're gonna do an overlay on this section and we're gonna pressure wash it first and, and and do our mix with the banding glue and we're ready to overlay this section right here and tomorrow we're gonna be uh, doing uh, the sidewalk it's a schedule uh, the port tomorrow 10 o'clock so that's what's up for today guys what's up guys so first things first we're gonna be doing an overlay on this area right here so we have to make sure it's very clean so we pressure wash it and we make sure we open up those pores in this existing slab so when the new mix come um, we have a, a better bond and if you notice on the left side uh, we added a form which is which line up with the corner of the house and we pour in a regular concrete mix there and level with the existing slab so when we come with the overlay uh, we come right on top of that and it's gonna look like a one full piece and you see later on in the video what I mean with that but yes um, we're gonna um, we're mixing in the front uh, the the mix. We're gonna bring it in the back here, and right here I'm applying the the bonding glue, which we usually uh, also put it in the mix. But I also I I also like it to put it on on the slab. That way we have a better bond. So you see this rake I'm using. This is um it's called rake cam which have two 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 pieces on the side which you can adjust the the height of the overlay and and that's what this does uh, it makes a level for you and then i just come in and smooth them up and make it nice and that's the purpose of the ray cam and you can adjust the height and this one I usually this type of uh, products I usually like to put it on 3 8 of an inch that's the thickness I like to use but no more than half inch because this product is not meant to uh, make it too thick in my um, crack but anyway a lot of people ask me what kind of what kind of product I use for the overlay and it's um, there are different products out there, out there that you can use for resurface or um, there is one that I use for for a long time that is called Thinkrete and but all of these products kind of have the same uh, the same material inside which is sand, cement and, and fiber but some of them have a finer sand uh, for even smaller than a quarter inch you can overlay but um, I've been doing this for 10 years and I kind of been doing my own mix which I like it better um, because I can add more concrete to the mix uh, sorry more cement to the mix um, that way it, it makes it more creamy and it, it, it leaves a better texture when when I do the stamp so so yeah you can use um, those products on the market for resurface so you can make your own mix make sure you use a very fine I would recommend if you are using the coral sand or the white sand make sure it's very it's very fine um, because I've seen some coral sand that is kind of thick so 
I like to use the one that is more thin and it leaves uh it is better to smooth them up and all that anyway so right here um we're getting ready for the stamp um i'm using a liquid release i usually use the powder release but uh, i didn't want to use it in this house because it's kind of messy and that's one thing and the other thing is because uh, I'm going to be pouring a sidewalk uh, tomorrow. Um, the next day we're going to be pouring a sidewalk. And it's, I know it's going to be a different color. Um, because they're two different mixes. So it's going to dry differently. So when I apply the stain, I can control better my stain and make it a little darker and try to... Or a little lighter and try to match it the best I can. So this is a stamp. This is a, a, a rock uh, texture that I use. This is very popular. Uh, I use it all the time. This like this uh, this mats I are three by three. Um, they they leave a nice, very nice texture. A lot of people like this one, and this one has no patterns. It's just texture. and so remember this um every time we pour this type of product we we always have to watch it because it tends to dry really fast so we have to watch it and and make sure especially on those areas where the sun is in it uh, we have to check it really good And right there, you can see a little bit of the texture, how it looks. It's a very, very nice uh, texture, very popular. Also, when you're stamping on the edges, uh, always make sure stay away at least one inch when you're hitting it make sure you're you're not hitting the edge because this is an overlay so in my you you might um you might hit it too hard and it's gonna come off the concrete so right here this is the second day this is a very tight area it's hard to work on tight areas it's kind of annoying but oh you we, we make we make it work all the time so this is about two yards and me and Pat are pouring this and as I go I'm gonna um, uh, we're making our way out as well so I'm use I'm gonna be using the 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 boom float as I go and make my way out but right there you can see where I put the form is right on the corner of the house. Now you can see it better. And that's going to be the expansion joint right there straight down. And you can already see that I have two different colors. I know this was going to happen. Two different colors, two different mix. But since it's going to be a stain, um, uh, I can match it and make it look even. You'll see at, at the end of the, of the video how it's going to turn out. On this um, sidewalk, uh, I'm also using fiber mesh. I love fiber mesh. I use it all the time. Um, I use it all the time on my mixes. And... It helps with the cracking and all that. So this whole mix has um, it's a three thousand psi, um, three quarter, uh, three a rock, and with fiber mesh in it. And right here we're getting ready to stamp the sidewalk. You can see right there the texture. It looks really nice. Um, 
you always uh, have to watch out. A um, few people ask me when is the right time. It's never, it's kind of hard to tell the right time. You have to watch it. It's usually you, the same time where you want to broom a concrete with the broom texture. It's about the same time you want to stamp it as well. And yes, so we did the sidewalk and right here we're getting ready to stain it. This is a charcoal stain. This is antique agent, which is like a powder uh, stain that you mix with water. It's a water-based product. And I always like to start a little lighter on the color. Um, because you can always make it darker. And, but if you make it darker the first time, there is no way to make it lighter again unless you you pressure wash the whole thing and you have to do it very quick because uh, as soon as this is dry um, it, you're gonna get a hard time getting the stain off so it's better to go lighter first and then a little bit darker and right here this is what the homeowner wanted so I wanted to double check with him and to give us the okay with the stain and and that's it this thing dries really fast the stain and we get ready to uh, to put the sealer on and that is the final product guys uh, what the sealer does is um, for one thing it protects the stain and also it gives uh, a wet look on the final product so that's how it looks guys this is the final product you can see right there the stamp the texture um, and right here where we have two different slabs uh, this is how it looks you know we try to blend them in with the stain the best we can and it looks really really good and one more thing, a lot of people ask me if the sealer uh, makes it slippery. And the answer is not. It doesn't make it slippery. It just gives the, um, the concrete this final wet look, which it looks slippery, but, it, but it's not. You can still, if you walk a bare feet on, on, on the slab, you can feel all the texture and all that. So it does look slippery, though, but, but it's not. Yeah, you can feel all the texture so this is how it turned out let us know if you guys have any questions in the comments or if you would like to have a free quote here in Hawaii where we we are located in all in Oahu so we work all over the island and this was a couple days later I came by and I wanted to double check the homeowner uh, he wanted me to give him the okay to put the furniture back. Uh, so I told him, yes, it's fine. It's, uh, you can walk on it and put your furniture. No problem. And then if you can see uh, on the stain, I try to do random places uh, a little bit darker. So it looks like more natural. And so, yeah, the homeowner were very, very happy with the final outcome of this uh, project. So let us know if you, has, if you guys have any questions and see you guys on the next video.